Hello, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to download a piece of software called uh, LOIC. Uh, it stands for Low Orbit Iron Cannon, so it's a bit of a practical joke in there, but um, it basically sends a lot of useless data or data packets to the destination uh, until that destination is overloaded and just completely gives up and crashes. So um, th this can be, uh, the, the, uh, the destination can be an IP address or the address of a website, so uh, that, uh, I don't know, Wi-Fi IP address or the um, website will be completely bugged out um, and will go into a pretty much a state of lagging and glitching out quite a bad, uh, quite badly. Um, if you're on like Xbox or something, the person will disconnect. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a fun little tool to mess around with um, and it's completely harmless other than crashing your Wi-Fi. Right, uh, this is the device here. Um, it's quite complicated, um, so I'll show you that once we downloaded it. But first of all, uh, we need to head over to uh, your internet um, explorer. So I recommend Chrome or uh, Mozilla Firefox, not uh, Explorer. Um, but uh, I'll join if you uh, click on the link, which will be in the description. It will take you to a website called SourceForge, and it will have a download link. If you click that download link, it will take you to a page where it says that this uh, application may be uh, malware. Now you can download it at your own. You can download it at your own risk. I can assure you that it isn't dangerous. The only reason they say it's dangerous is because they've been reported. Because obviously, some people don't find it funny that the Wi-Fi is being DDoSed. So um, all you have to do is click the blue link, which says uh, direct link anyway, um, and it will download. Now, uh, once you've downloaded it, um, you head over to your download folder and you'll need to extract it. Um, extracting basically is getting a condensed file and taking all the files out from a more condensed version into a less condensed, a less condensed usable version. Um, if you can't, uh, extract it as shown on the screen now uh, you will need to download something called WinRAR if you do have that issue uh, you can always search up how to download WinRAR on the internet or you can message me in the comments below and I'll tell you how to do it once you've downloaded it all you have to do is double click it and it will load up and it will open up this application um, as you can see uh, it says low orbit iron cannon um, uh, it's obviously a joke um, as you are basically bombarding the destination of the person. Now all you have to do is get either the website address um, or the IP address of your target. Um, if you want to get an IP address of your target, for example your friend's Wi-Fi or internet router, um, there is a number of ways you can get it um, and I'll be making a video on that as well. So. Um, if you look in the comments or I'll put a link to a another person's video showing you how to get their, somebody's IP address. So um, what you need to do is basically copy and paste that IP address or website into the uh, one of the top two boxes. and uh, You paste it in and then click lock on. Uh, make sure it's correct because um, if it doesn't, it isn't correct, it's just sending a bunch of data to a random IP address. I've used my friends on here, I've had to blur it out, but that is my friend's IP address. Um, so as I'm making this video, my friend will be bombarded um, by packets of data. Now what you're going to want to do now is you want to go to one of the lower boxes and you're going to go and uh, click UDP. Uh, you can mess around with the settings, however, it, it's much easier to keep it simpler. So if you click UDP, uh, keep everything the same. You can change the speed. If you do um, a quicker speed or a lower, um, slower speed, it doesn't mess up your Wi-Fi as much because when you do it, you are messing up your Wi-Fi, but it's not as bad as the uh, reciprocant. But uh, if you do it slow, if you do it quicker, it, it will have a different effect on your Wi-Fi. Once you've done that, you can click the top right button and it will start sending those packets. As once it's been clicked, you will be sending packets constantly to um, the recipient, and their Wi-Fi will uh, start slowing down and sluggish. As it goes on, it gets worse and worse, and then you get to a point. Uh, for me, it's around a million where their Wi-Fi just completely gives up and uh, switches itself off. Um, it can take anywhere between instantly and um, 10 minutes for this to happen. Um, if you do experience some lagging on your Wi-Fi, that is completely acceptable. 
Um, you might have to give up your Wi-Fi use for five minutes while you're sending the packets because it is uh, quite uh, you well quite hassle uh, hassling on your own Wi-Fi. Um, but you can also slow it down and it will just take a bit longer. So uh, that will reduce the hex. Um, so that's basically it. Um, if you have any issues or problems, please just uh, comment down below. Um, and I will be making the video on how to find people's IP address, um, which I'll be doing in the future. So um, if this worked, please uh, like the video and comment. And that is basically my method to showing people who believe this may be a virus or malware file, um, that it isn't a malware file and that it's completely harmless. And it basically, if you have 500 likes and 20 dislikes, you can obviously tell the video is uh, trustworthy. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you very much for watching, I uh, hope this is useful and I won't recommend doing this to any companies or websites, it is illegal other than if you do it to your friends it's a joke but do not do it to any big websites uh, as you can be tracked. Um, I, you can also use an IP address to hide your IP but you don't really want to do that, I only did it to my friends, I haven't done it to anybody else so uh, that, that's keeping it safe. So. Um, Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.